Hello and welcome to this first presentation dedicated to Istio. Uh, to start, we will explore one of the um, traffic management features that allows to route your request to different applications depending on their properties. What is Istio? So Istio is a service mesh. Look at it as a high level set of services that rely on the underlying network and provide some additional uh, features. Uh, those features, they would have to be coded in your app otherwise, so it comes at the cost of uh, implementing and uh, maintaining Istio compared to uh, developing it to every component uh, of your app. It's very useful in the case of microservice architecture because it has some specific challenges around that. And in the case of Kubernetes, it's even better because it comes with an out-of-the-box integration. Uh, so you just have those features for the cost of uh, installing and maintaining it compared to implementing and integrating. It has features in three different areas. One, one is the traffic management uh, set of features. Uh, and uh, for instance, you can uh, introduce a retry on the request so that uh, if there is an error, uh, the user won't even know about it. You can also use it to uh, perform some tests. For instance, you can introduce a delay or you can mirror a traffic to a service, to another set of services and perform some tests uh, behind the scene, again, without the user even knowing about it. An important uh, area of uh, features is around security and uh, it's a very common use case and that's because uh, Istio is able to uh, encrypt all your data uh, for the traffic across the uh, different pods uh, for almost free again. Uh, but it, it's not the only feature. For instance, you can also um, define a security policy based on, on a set of uh, service definition, like a label, uh, without even knowing the uh, IP address of this pod. Uh, which is kind of very useful uh, if you have an infrastructure where pods are um, moving on. And uh, last but not least, it provides a lot of features around observability. So uh, you'll get metrics, logs, traces, but also all the tools that enables you to understand what is happening under the hood. If you're interested, have a look at uh, istio.com. So that's the website or to the uh, GitHub repository, which is Istio slash Istio. Istio is made of two different parts. Uh, one is the control plane, which is made in the case of Kubernetes of uh, CRDs and uh, services that are running in the uh, Istio dash uh, system namespace. Those services, they allow you to define what you want, but also collect some data and uh, react in the case of uh, some events, like the addition of a new uh, container or uh, to, to add um, the, the proxy to it. Uh, the main part, the most important part is the data plane, because it basically what Istio does is inject uh, proxies that are uh, based on uh, Envoy and that do uh, all the uh, magic stuff inside your stack. For this first demonstration around Istio, we will focus on traffic management and more specifically on request routing. This is an important uh, part of it because it enables different use cases like booking updates or calendar updates. In the case of the demonstration, what we'll do, we'll create a new version of uh, an application and we will grant it to a specific user. The other users won't even noticing about it. What you'll see also is that uh, in the case of Kubernetes, Istio uh, relies on custom resource definitions to manage the different resources. So we will be able to create a YAML manifest to declare a gateway virtual service or destination rule and apply them with kub control. Uh, if you want to know more about those resources, have a look at the documentation, but to make it short, in the case of uh, the management of uh, inbound traffic, the gateway is the access point where the uh, virtual service defines uh, which service will be used 
based on some pattern matching like a URL or the uh, header and the uh, destination rule defines some more fine-tuned policies like uh, the load balancing policy. What you'll see also is that uh, uh, because of the integration with uh, Istio, Kubernetes and the management tools, once created, those resources will show up in uh, Kiali and the different uh, monitoring tools. This demonstration shows how you can configure the traffic management feature of uh, Istio so that uh, in the case of a request coming from the outside, uh, you route to the right application depending on the different properties you've set up and configured. Uh, basically, uh, it's based on an Istio configuration working on a Kubernetes cluster. What I've done also is created a, a recall in my DNS so that it routes to the right uh, gateway um, right away. Uh, you can just uh, check it right now you see that uh, because I didn't install anything, it's not routing at all. If you're interested, uh, you can also install and configure the Kiali console. Here you see that there is uh, currently nothing running in the default uh, namespace. And if you want to access the manifest, then uh, you'll be interested to see uh, this uh, repository uh, is called uh, Cloud for Fun and available uh, on my account. Uh, the demonstration itself is in this uh, directory. So go to blog slash istio slash routing. You'll see all the manifest in there. So basically the demonstration is based on the Hello World sample of um, Istio. It has uh, two different applications that are very basics. There are two deployments uh, based on the Istio image with different parameters. And uh, this deployment is called Hello World-V1 and it has um, the service name Hello World-V1 in front of it. So what I'll do, I'll just uh, apply the, the manifest And right next to that, what I'll do, I'll configure the gateway and the virtual service with a set of rules. So here is the declaration of the gateway. And after it, you have a virtual service. So the virtual service is named Hello World. It uh, plugs, it connects to, to the Hello World dash gateway gateway. And it says that if the coming request uh, matches the uh, slash URI, then uh, it sends the workload to the hello world uh, v1 service and we write the URI to slash hello just because the uh, service is serving this route. So I will uh, apply it. And now I can test it. And you see it's uh, Responding now, uh, if you look at the name of the pod, here you see the pod has the same name as the one that is currently being served by the application, which is kind of obvious in this case. Uh, you, If you pay attention to it, you see also that there is not only one uh, container in that pod, but two, that's because Istio adds the proxy container has a sidecar to it, so it comes with a second container uh, inside the pod, but um, it's done transparently by the uh, by Istio itself. So now I will deploy uh, the second application. And it has a deployment and a service. The service is named Hello World V2. The deployment is the same, except it's based on this version two of the application. You can uh, actually uh, check that by running kube control get pods. You'll see there's a second pod right now. And if you run a curl, you'll see that it's still the version one of my application being served. Okay, so I will show you how I, to configure the uh, virtual service to change the, the rule. Here 
here I have a new uh, virtual service that has the same name. So I will apply it to, to modify the current one. And um, the rules are slightly different. It, it starts by saying that if the uh, URI matches uh, slash and there is an header called x dash user that matches the Gregory, uh, then it will rewrite on slash hello and push it to the uh, hello world dash v2 uh, service. Other than that, it will continue to push to hello world dash v1. So I can apply it. And here you see it has uh, changed the uh, virtual service for Istio. Obviously, if I run a curl, it won't change the workload. So you can see that it's still serving V1, and that's because it doesn't match my rule. Uh, if I want to change the rule, I just had the header x user with Gregory. And you see, in that case, it's serving the second part. Um, if, you're, um, if you want to do it from your brother, then you can probably install um, a plugin. So here, uh, I'll be showing you that it continues to work, but from the brother. Here, you see it's serving uh, version one. But if I enable the plugin that does the change to the uh, headers, here I'm, I'm using a plugin for Firefox, uh, and I will just activate this uh, this header that says uh, the x dash user uh, matches uh, Gregory, and we run the query. You see it has changed from one uh, service to to the other one, and that's very useful because if if you come from the outside, you can change the URL, but if you're running inside the the um, inside the workload, then it's much more difficult. But uh, injecting um, um, a header, it's something quite easy. So that was more or less it. Uh, if you want to look at the console, which is very useful, then uh, it's nothing. Uh, you see that there is an application. The, the way uh, Istio uh, considers an application is by uh, an, a tag on a label. So here you have an application, but this application has actually two different workloads. One is for service two, <coughs> the other one is for service one. And if you look at, for instance, this service, you see that it's pointing to this pod, so the second pod. Uh, you can review the configuration from there. You'll see the, re the virtual service, and you'll see the definition that says that if it matches the uh, Gregory header uh, on x dash user, then it goes to, to there. Uh, a very interesting view, maybe not in that case, but uh, for later uh, usage, is the connectivity between the service and the application. And you, you'll see the whole workflow if you, if you run it a few times. Oh, we'll start to discover. Uh, do it uh, for, for another set of queries. Just refresh it. You'll see that uh, the, the query are running uh, and how it works. And by the way, you, you are also see that there can be errors coming in. Okay, so here we are. You can just clean the whole configuration by doing a delete of everything. And because I have here, you'll see a, a small error. That's because uh, actually the virtual service is declared twice. So that's why. Let's summarize with a quick wrap up. Istio is a service mesh, so it's a set of uh, higher level uh, network services that helps you to better understand your infrastructure. Uh, in the case of Kubernetes, it provides a seamless integration, so it comes with a set of CRDs and controllers that you can install easily from a set of manifests, and um, it provides 
ways to do some advanced stuff like uh, canary updates or in the case of the demonstration provide a new version of an application and provide access to a, to a given user it also is integrated with a management stack so uh, you will be able to understand what's happening but also uh, provide some monitoring tools to better understand how your application itself is is working and uh, Istio is more like uh, an infrastructure by itself rather than a solution so it can be used uh, to provide some other services so for instance you, you can use it as part of your CI CD pipeline to provide again the blue green or the canary update or you can uh, use it uh, to develop your own operator or you can use it as part of another infrastructure so for instance uh, Kinetive itself uh, rely on on, uh, on Istio it's a very successful project and uh, you may want to have a look at it and by the way we, we will continue those uh, demonstrations later on so stay tuned